Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for August 16th through August 31st, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. Uh, as of tomorrow, we're going to have seven planets retrograde. So that's a lot. We are still give, being given the opportunity to really go over um, things from the past, old situations, to evaluate, get clear, get complete. There's a reason things are resurfacing for you. So try to just be really present to it because it's all here to help you grow and continue on your path. Um, also, if, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. So this is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years. The link below has all the information on my website about the distance energy healing and therapy. You can definitely read about the benefits, check out the testimonials, and you'll see I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And I also offer a very limited number of personal readings. So that link is below as well. So that's it. We're gonna get straight into the readings. Hello Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Hope you're doing well. Again, this is for August 16th through the 31st, 2020. I've already fully shuffled, so let's just get into it. Okay, interesting Libra. First up, we've got the Hermit card. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, um, but the Hermit card really is about a spiritual lesson or some message that is trying to be shown to you or brought through for you. So this could be in regards to a person, a relationship, a family situation, a work situation, whatever resonates with you. But there's something here that spirit wants you to know about that situation. But it's interesting because the way the card, it's the first one out. So the lantern is kind of being shown like to the past. So I feel there's something coming up from your past that you're being asked to look at or to deal with or to examine. Maybe there's something that you haven't been getting or quite understanding about something that you have been through. The Hermit card also kind of can indicate maybe you've been a little more quiet lately, a little more introspective, um, not so maybe your normal bubbly outgoing Libra self. Maybe you've been a little more tuned in and quiet, um, which I think is actually a positive thing. So next up, I've got the Queen of Cups. I actually feel your energy on this Queen of Cups. And if you look at how these two are positioned, it's like the Queen of Cups here is trying to almost get this hermit's attention, but the hermit is looking elsewhere. So maybe you've had your focus on a person or a partner that maybe isn't fully aware of your um, desire to know them, or they are focused elsewhere dealing with things in their life and they're not able to receive your cup or to even acknowledge you and your cup right now. Um, I do feel, so that, again, this Queen of Cups, it feels like you're quite clear of where your heart is, what you want, what it is um, that you want moving forward. But Again, because of this Hermit card, I feel there, there might be a lesson here around you if, if you're putting energy into someone or something that maybe is not reciprocating that energy. Um, and I only say that just because, again, the back is turned here with the Hermit card. So maybe reevaluating if, you, if you're saving your cup or holding your cup um, for someone who maybe isn't really available for you. That doesn't really serve you or serve them. Um, and then the last card out I've got is the Hierophant card. So Libra, you're kind of sandwiched here between two major Arcana cards. So definitely a lesson, some sort of transformation and growth happening here. Also with the Queen of Cups, with the back towards the Hierophant card, I feel maybe you've gotten away 
from really tuning into that spiritual part of yourself, that quiet time within, that re reflective time. Maybe that's why the hermit has showed up because you're you're being called to get more in touch with your spiritual side. I mean, the hermit and the hierophant are both very spiritual cards. So I think that's actually a strong message for you to um, start tuning into the inner messages. Start, you know, doing some meditation or something to quiet the mind to allow that strong intuition to come through for you because I, I do feel there's some messages and lessons here for you. Let me see what else I've got here. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. So I feel like you're going to be shifting Libra again. I'm looking at these three first um, cards here that came out and the energy does, it feels a little quiet. It feels a little introspective. It feels like you're being called within or messages are trying to come through for you um, from spirit. And I think that's all very positive. But there's going to be a shift because after that, I've got the three of cups and I've got the full card. So I feel like you may come out of, if you have been a little more quiet or more of a homebody lately, I feel like you're going to be getting back into feeling like you want to be social, you want to be free, you want to just let things go. If you have had your focus on someone who is not available or who has not been able to give you attention right now, I think you're going to pull that um, energy back from them and put it into yourself, your friends, your joy, your happiness. Um, and all good things. And with the Fool card, that's really kind of taking a leap of faith as well. So just lightening your load a bit, getting back into your happy flow. I've also got the Wheel of Fortune out here. So fate, divine timing, things moving in your favor. Like I said, that first row card, the energy just feels a little slow. Um, but by the second row, things are definitely moving and picking up. So maybe, you know, after this uh, new moon that we have on, I think this Tuesday, the 17th or 18th, you'll be ready for like new beginnings and new fresh energy coming in. I've also am feeling with this three of cups here, there may be a reconciliation or there may be somebody getting in touch with you who has been out of touch. And it may not necessarily be a love reconciliation. This can be an old friend, an old colleague, somebody that you've just been disconnected from but it's gonna feel good to you uh, to reconnect with this person if that is resonating with you. Okay, next up I've got Four of Cups. I feel like so what I'm feeling, I think the end of August is going to be like a transition period for you. You're like transitioning out of something old that maybe wasn't working for you, that you still didn't want to let go of. You're going to transition more into being free, connecting with your friends, being social, really focused on you. And I feel like you're going to really be keeping your options open for the remainder of the month. Like you don't want to miss out on an opportunity. Maybe that's one of the lessons you know, if you are focused on someone or something that is not available to be focused on you, that does create an energy of missed opportunity. And I think with the Four of Cups here, you don't want to miss any opportunities that the universe is trying to bring through for you. And with this Three of Wands, it's like looking at your options, keeping yourself open, ready to kind of take action in the direction of what it is that... Uh, you're wanting or you are desiring and then the third card out here I've got is the moon card So it's like a shift in your deeper inner emotions your inner feelings I think this links back up into you getting really connected back in with you Your higher self that quiet space within where you get the messages the clarity the guidance You're really going to be tuning in with that Libra with this moon card here 
it may be a little bit scary to tune into that or to quiet the mind. You know, typically Libras spend a lot of time in the mental energy and with a strong mental energy, it makes it very hard for spirit and intuition to come through because the mind is always trying to calculate, analyze, second guess, um, question and doubt and things like that. So I feel the message here for the moon card is really to, to quiet the mental energy actually find it quite amazing. There's not a single swords card out here, which those really represent the mental energy. So Libra, I think you are shifting more into feeling and less thinking, which is a really positive thing for you because without all that heavy thinking, your load is a lot lighter. You do feel more free. You do feel more in the flow. That's when when things really start to shift and move and flow in, in the powerful way that the universe wants them to. Okay, so less thinking and more feeling. I feel that's kind of this transition that you're going through. And again, you've got one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards out here. You start with the hermit, you move to the hierophant, fool, wheel of fortune, and the moon. So there's even progression there with, with the major arcana cards. Let me just see if I want to clarify here. Okay there was two. So I was asking to clarify the message of the hermit card here. And the two that fell out, I've got knight of wands and 10 of pentacles. So the message that the hermit is trying to bring in for you is something around, I mean, if, okay, this is such a Libra two cards to come out because it's like, Part of you really wants stability, something stable, something solid, reliable, long-term. But then the indecisive part of you is like, well, I'm not sure if I want that or if that's the right person or maybe I want it this way instead of that way. And that's where that mental energy can really keep you in the indecision and a very confused place. So that is the message of the hermit is to really... Be aware of the mental energy. Be aware of the thoughts and the thinking. Less thinking, more feeling. How do you do that? Tune in with the breath. Do meditation. Do any exercises that can help you to not be thinking. That can be any creative project, any form of art, dance, cooking without a recipe. There's a lot of things that can help you really flow with that. So that speaks right to what a lot of the message is in this reading for you. But I do, like I said, I do feel like you're getting this lesson because there's no swords cards out here and you're doing the work. I really feel you're doing the work and that's also part of the retrogrades. They will keep showing us things over and over and over until we get the message. And with seven planets retrograde, you're being given an opportunity of maybe where overanalyzing has not served you, where putting extra energy into someone or something that can't reciprocate does not serve you. So you're shifting out of those kind of wasted activities or activities that waste your time and energy, I guess I should say. But the Fool card is in the center of your reading, so you are definitely, this is a transition for you, um, which August was going to be a, a power, well, it is one of the power months of this year, and it's the transition month, so you're going to be feeling that through the end of the month. I also don't really feel that this um, reading is specific to a relationship, a person, it's more individual. Like this is about you and a lesson within you. And that lesson will affect your relationships. It will affect your work. It will affect your home life and all of that. So even though I'm tuning into, you know, Libra in regards to love, um, th these are the messages for today. So it's kind of a more individual reading, which I like that for you guys for a change. Um, the last message for you is power. The power is not in the mind, it's actually in the soul and the heart energy. And that is what 
this beautiful transition and transformation is that you are going through. And for those of you who do maybe have a reconciliation or a reconnect coming through, you're going to handle the situation, the person, whatever it is differently because you're going to be in a different space. Okay, so let me get a spirit animal message for you to wrap it all up. All right, Libra, your spirit animal message is hawk, messenger. Spirit is sending you messages. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Wow. You cannot make this stuff up, Libra. This literally ties in all of the messages from this reading. Spirit is sending you messages, and the only way you're going to hear those is if you allow yourself to quiet the mind, to quiet the thoughts. Open your greater vision to see the signs. That is the feeling, not the thinking. Focus on the priorities. Eliminate the distractions. The priorities are things that bring you joy, things that are fun and that keep you in that higher vibe energy, the creative projects, time with your friends. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Like I said, Libras, this is your transition. Okay, beautiful reading. I really hope that resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus or your Jupiter or really any placement um, for Libra. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter uh, where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. This is my full-time work for over two and a half years now. So the link is below. All the information on the distance energy healing and therapy is there for you. You can read about the benefits. Definitely read the testimonials. Um, take advantage. I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And the energy therapy is amazing for helping us to move out of the mind and more into the body and spirit energy. Having more balance between the energy centers will do that. Um, so having a lot of uh, mental energy is common in air signs, but with the energy therapy, I've seen it over and over and over. It really just helps to center and calm and give the mind and that ego a little bit of a break. So again, the link is below. All the information is there. And I also do a limited number of private readings and the link is uh, below for that as well. So that's it, Libras. I'm wishing you a wonderful uh, rest of August and I will see you back here for the first half of September readings. Take care.